Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nate. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me here today. In this video, we're gonna unbox the 2020 Toro Super Recycler. Stay tuned, we'll get right into this one. Today we're going to be unboxing the 2020 Toro Super Recycler. The model number here is 21387. Now there's several different models here that they came out with this year. This is the one that I happened to choose. There's a few different things I liked about this particular unit. One of them being that this is a little bit bigger of an engine, 190 cc. I know that there's some people that aren't the biggest fans of a Briggs & Stratton engine. However, I've had pretty good luck with them. There are a ton of features that come along with this mower. I'll have a couple links down below in the description if you'd like to look more into the specifications. Similar to what is offered in a lot of mowers nowadays, it's three different mowing options. You can either bag, side discharge, or mulch. More often than not, I like to go ahead and mulch my clippings. However, there are some times where the bagging or the side discharge come in handy. One of the many things I like about this mower is the color scheme. It still sticks with the traditional red Toro, However, the black undertone really makes this thing stand out. A few things come along with this box here that gives you the oil and fuel stabilizer, as well as one of the perks of this mower is the electric start. Now, I didn't go out of the way to purchase this model specifically for this. However, it is a nice add-on. You get both a battery as well as a charger cable. The current position that you see the mower in is how you utilize the smart stow. I'll show you a little more about that here later on in the video. This just shows how quick and simple it is to go from the smart stow position to ready to use. All right, now guys, now here is something that I am open to suggestions here. Um, this was one of the trickier parts for me. Now there wasn't a full blown manual that came with this mower. So I wasn't real sure on which direction the terminals were supposed to face. I kind of messed around with it for a little bit, but I couldn't figure out how to store this cable inside this box and yet make sure all of the connections fit securely. So I did what any other person does in 2020. They went to YouTube. I could not find any videos that showed how to set this up for this particular model. After doing a little hunting around the internet, I came across the actual manual here out on Home Depot's website. And then within the manual, I found the section on replacing the fuse. It's kind of tough to tell here, but the negative is on the left and the positive is on the right. Technically, this was in the opposite direction of how I had this battery in the case. What really threw me off here was the way that my terminals were bent. As you can see, they're, they're bent towards the outside of the battery. However, the image here in the manual makes it look like it is either straight up or even pointed towards the center. Well, I had no idea if I should have done this or not, but I very gently with, with some needle nose pliers bent the terminals the other direction. did this very carefully because I did not want to snap these things off. 
and ultimately this got me in a position where I was able to fully secure this battery in the case. If you have some more knowledge around this, please by all means share it with me down below in the comments. Hopefully I did this right. So far it's been working out just fine. And then I went ahead and just as extra precaution, wrapped the terminals in some electrical tape. This more came with a little bit of oil in the bottom, so I just went ahead and topped it off, waited for a few minutes, and made sure that the dipstick showed the proper amount of oil. Topped her off with a little gas, and she's ready to roll. Right, guys a couple more things i want to show you here real quick first thing i want to show you is the smart stow all you got to do is flip these little blue levers here and then the handles will fold forward i didn't demonstrate this here on the video but you can also lock the handle here straight up and down which also would be convenient for storage especially if your garage is tight on space well we've got the underside showing here you can see these red wedges as well as these little wings here by the blade now the combination of both of these is what gives this mower the name Super Recycler. It helps create extra suction under the mower deck, which gives it more chances to recycle the clippings, or also known as mulching. And last thing I wanted to show you guys here today is the setup of the Toro Lawn Striping Kit. I've had this kit for several years now, even before I had a Toro. All it does is it rides behind the mower and the extra weight lays the grass blades down. Based off how the sun reflects off the grass is how you end up getting that striped look. While this accessory is by no means practical, I do like the way that it makes the lawn look. Just a little something extra to make your yard pop a little bit. This unit is pretty universal. It can work on most 21 and 22 inch mowers. There are a lot of adjustments you can make to make it fit almost any standard push mower. One of the things to keep in mind if you do have this connected onto your mower is that it does not work very well with the Smart Stow. You can remove the weight and it'll work just fine. However, that is something I just wanted to call out. And so there you have it guys. That's all I've got for you here today. Stay tuned here, coming up here in the near future, I'm going to have a full in-depth review of how I think this mower operates. Be sure to subscribe if you so desire. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me here once again. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys. Take care.